And now time for Christian Car Guy Theater. With today's episode, River Rock Retaliation, Part 5. Previously on River Rock Retaliation Part 4, there are so many things going on, I think some of them bear repeating. It's hard to get our brains around it when it comes to spiritual warfare. Sometimes that can just make us numb. So hold on tight while I share a little of what's going on. The powerful prayers of the Underhood team in Jimmy's Jeep, along with the prayers of the saints in River Rock, had brought God's magnificent, glorious angels to battle the despicable Nagadon, Azimia, Nakashi, and Shaddam, and zap them in no uncertain terms. Yep, driven out of River Rock by God's angelic host. Unfortunately, the collateral damage has heightened the secrets and the troubled hearts of Mayor Elvira Merriweather, who accidentally killed her husband, and Pastor Jack, whose son John is a heroin addict. And even now, John is talking with Jimmy at Pop's Mall Shop and trying to pump Jimmy for some more money so John can buy more heroin. I only need about $100, Jimmy. That ought to do it. It's for a really good cause, I can tell you. It could literally save a few lives. Well, can't you ask your dad for some money, John? I mean, any other time I'd be willing to lend you the money, but things are kind of tight right now. I'm always willing to pitch in to help others, and it sounds like they are really in a bad way, but I... Oh, come on, Jimmy. Remember that time I helped you out in high school? Suddenly, to John's surprise, he sees his little brother Joey standing there. What are you doing here? Mom wants you to come home. Right now, John. Don't give up any money, Jimmy. What? Meanwhile, outside Pop's malt shop, the Under the Hood team are very aware of what's going on. Frenchy Fender raises the alarm. Gracie gas tank, Mosey Motor Oil, I need the intake. Uh, Fernando Fuel Injector, Tammy Tensioner, are you all awake in there? Time to rally the troops. I hear you, Frenchy. I know trouble was a brewing when I saw little Joey going after his brother John and Pop's malt shop. We gotta pray again, gang. We had us quite a victory getting rid of them disgusting demons. Can't get too complacent and sit back on our car parts, right, Tammy Tensioner? Oh, yeah, right, Gracie Gas Tank. Oh, I can feel the tension building up in me. We gotta snap to it, team. Gotta keep charging ahead with our prayers. Come on, give us some fresh oil, Mosey Motor Oil. Oh, yeah, that's right, Tammy. Mm-hmm, now, Tammy, you are right. Now, Lord, Lord, now you just filled me up, filled me up with some fresh oil of the Spirit, you know. And it is pure, pure octane, straight from your throne. Help us to slide right back up to the heavenlies with our prayers for your help in time of trouble with a capital T, which rhymes with B, which stands for blessings on the way. Isn't that right, Senor Fernando Fuel Injector? Si, si, claro, Mosi. My little Cochita Anita Intake and I will pray together. Explosive prayers for the great rescue and restored king in the sky. Padre Celestial, O Most Holy One, once again we ask you for miracles for these poor humans that always seem to need them. But you are so merciful and willing to restore, and we ask you to help Pastor Jack and his family, help his son John too, to be delivered and my little Conchita, Anita, Intake, and I agree together. En el nombre de Dios, amen. Oh, see, sí, see, sí, my husband, Fernando Fuel Injector, almost high restorer in the sky. As we intake your power to pray, you will inject the perfecto circumstances to fix that poor, sick, deceived boy, John. Give him your fuel of life to overcome in this battle. Just then, John jumps up mad and follows Joey out the door. You little brat. Why'd he go and have to say that to Jimmy? Now he'll know something's not right. Do you hear yourself? He'll find out something's not right? Something's not right, John. I thought older brothers were supposed to be the smart ones. Oh, that's it. Roll your eyes. Maybe you'll find a brain back there. Of course I talk like an idiot. 
How else would you understand me, butthead? <laughs> now I remember why I had to go and get out of this town. Little brothers were supposed to be fun to be with. And you used to be, Joey. Well, you used to take me along with you when you went fishing and skiing. Those were great times, John. Before, before drugs took over. Yeah, well, I'm not the only one, little brother. Dad used to take the both of us, remember? I guess that stopped when church took over. So I do know how that feels, okay? Let's say, if you want, how about tomorrow afternoon, Rainbow Falls? I'll bet there's some big ones out there since we haven't fished in years. Really? Really, Johnny? Yeah, I bet they're huge. I better get to Wally World after dinner to get some power bait. While you're at it, can you get me some? You know I'm a little strapped for cash. Yeah, sure. Man, this is going to be awesome. Meanwhile, Mayor Elvira Merriweather is going to the church to ask Pastor Jack for prayer, right when Pastor Jack is in prayer over his dilemma with his son, John. Pastor Jack, could I speak with you privately? Sure, Mayor. Come on in. Have a seat. How can I help you? Pastor, Nettie suggested I come to you. Oh, Pastor, my past has caught up with me. I think I should resign. This town needs a mayor who tells the whole truth. And well, I had my chance and I have totally let everyone down, especially my deceased husband and his memory. I'm so sorry, Elvira, but before we jump into all that, what do you say we ask Jesus to join us? I'm guessing we really need his help. Yes, please. Jesus, please come and help us. It sounds like Elvira and I have both gotten ourselves in over our heads. Elvira doesn't know it, but I was about to resign too. Yet you called us both to be right here, right now. Jesus, please come into all this. I know I am so confused and I sense Elvira is too. Jesus, help us to hear your voice, and your voice only. We are asking to draw our life from you, as this bitter root has produced bitter fruit. In Jesus' name I pray. Tune in next month for the next exciting episode of River Rock Retaliation. Now here's Danny Dipstick and Randy Radiator to review today's episode. Uh -huh, Randy, this fruit prayer stuff seems very appealing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Daddy. And it helps you live to a ripe old age. <laughs> See what I did there, Daddy? A ripe old age. Oh, man. Look, but seriously, Danny, those prayers from the car parts must have, must have cleared some of John's fog. You know, Pastor Jack's son. I, I believe he saw his own father wound through his little brother's brother wound. Oh, wow. Not only that, but he acted out of compassion for his little brother. You might say he hooked him with that fishing line. Oh, boy. But truly, Danny, I wonder how many pastor's kids see the church like John did here as the thief of their dad's time and attention. Oh, boy. <laughs> Randy, yep, if Pastor Jack was a cardinal, they'd have caught him red-handed. <laughs> Speaking of red, Danny, <laughs> what did the red grape say when he got stepped on? <laughs> I'm not sure, but he let out a little wine. <laughs> See, Danny, the grape has juice, and then when it's let out, it turns into wine. <laughs> oh, boy. Say goodbye, Danny. <laughs> See you later, Radiator.